Hmm, okay. I think the Yeezy 500 silhouette is not for me. What is up guys? It's your boy I am and this is I am Sneakers. Good day sneakerheads and thank you again for stopping by on my channel. I am Sneakers and if you are passionate about sneakers, if you love sneakers or if you have interest about sneakers, you are on the right channel. And if you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be the first one to get notified when I drop a new video. And you can also find me outside YouTube all my social links will be included in the description of this video. And if you enjoy this video, feel free to smash that like button because it helps the channel to grow. And for today's episode, we will do a closer look of the Adidas Yeezy 500 top light. And with that being said, let's go. Before we get into the unboxing, this particular pair, Yeezy 500 Dope Light, has been released last June 5. And the retail price of this is around 200 US dollars or 12,000 Philippine peso. And this is not my personal pair. One of my friends tossed me a pair uh, for me to show you uh, how good they are. So let's go, let's unbox this one. But before that, let me just show you the box. So it's a typical carton box. And at the top of the box, we have that 500. And on the side of the box, you can't see any boost labeling or branding because it has no boost. So it has an adifrain cushioning technology rather than boost. And on this side, you will see the uh, size label and details of the shoe. So it is... Uh, obvious that this is not my pair it is in size 10 and a half though i can wear size 10 and a half but i am comfortable with size 10 and the official colorway is tall light tall light tall light so that stands for taupe light taupe light so here is the shoe this is the adidas yeezy 500 taupe light Hmm, okay. I think the Yeezy 500 silhouette is not for me. I'm not sure. I'm not feeling it. But yeah, uh, I think the reason why is uh, I'm not judging all the fans of the Yeezy 500. But it is just my own preference that I can't feel anything on this one. Maybe this is not included on my top 3 Yeezy. Uh, but yeah, I understand that we do have our own preference and opinion. We do like this, we do like that. This is not for me, but uh, the uh, materials on this silhouette is very premium in my opinion. This color really reminds me of the OG Yeezy 500 blush. They have the same color, however, the, uh, this particular colorway is a bit darker to that blush colorway. And let's get into the details of this shoe. The Adidas Yeezy 500 Taupe Light is made up of different materials. And as you can see, it is in a monochromatic color. Taupe Light. And at the toe box, you have this suede, a premium suede. And when you try to rub or touch it, you will see a stroke on the hair of the suede and going at the tongue you have that mesh material and leather you have this 
stock laces in uh, taupe light as well and around the eye stay or eyelets you have this oblong suede material and on the lateral side of the shoe here you have that mesh material suede leather and a new book as well and rubber that uh, starts the midsole here this is the same on the uh, medial side of the shoe and on this side on the midsole you have this adidas branding and on the lateral side you do have this adiptin branding as well the back panel of the shoe yes it's a different materials as well you have this suede part new back part and mesh part here. and on the insole you do have that taupe light insole with ortholite branding easy and adidas brand and on this midsole, you have this midsole that reminds me of the old basketball shoe, Kobe, or the uh, Jordan 13. And on the outsole, you do have this outsole with illusion, illusion pattern. Yeah. And on the toe box as well here below connecting to the uh, outsole you have this adidas branding also this has 3m lining around the shoe starting from the toe box here and up to the back panel of the shoe same as the medial side In terms of sizing, as far as I know, uh, all of the Yeezy silhouettes requires you to add half size up from your normal size. And if you are wide-footed, we recommend uh, doing a full size up. And in terms of comfort, since the Yeezy 500 has no boost but a different uh, cushioning technology, uh, though it has no boost but it's a pretty comfortable uh, pair or shoe, that you can have and there you have it we did a closer look and detailed review of the yeezy 500 toe light what is your opinion about the yeezy 500 is this the one that you can rock i think for me it's hard to pull off this kind of silhouette it's hard to uh, match it with your outfit however we do have our own preference and please let me know your thoughts on the comment section down below and if you enjoy this video please like this video and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be the first one to get notified when i drop a new video and you can also find me outside youtube all my social links will be included in the description of this video and that's it for this episode always remember cup what you want rock what you love see you on the next one peace god bless hunger somebody